In this lecture, we talk about homology of groups. So we start with the standard resolution of integers. So this resolution we have seen before, but you can also think of this resolution essentially coming from singular homology. So you can find this in uh, section 2.1 of uh, Hatcher's algebraic topology, at least in the book I have, it is on page 110. So there you have the same complex, but you have C0 here, C1 here, C2 here, and so on. And the idea is that uh, you just replace vertices with group elements. So you replace VI with group elements GI, and you get this. So if you look at the standard resolution, um, this is a construction which just simply falls out after replacing vertices with groups. So nothing special about it. This is just the standard um, this chain complex for homology and you're replacing vertices with groups and essentially the differential maps are also the same you just drop the ith vertex so essentially you just see hatcher algebraic topology replace vertices with group elements and everything remains the same so again the slogan is our singular homology or even simpler cw complex homology replace vertex, vertices with group elements. Now this resolution for this integers is exact. So kernel is equal to image and therefore if you try to compute homology groups they are all zero. Now say m is a g module and then you can apply this functor to this um, this exact standard resolution. So you start applying here, so you tensor this, you get here, you tensor this with this functor, you go here, you tensor this, you go here, and you drop this term, which has this augmentation map. So you drop uh, the term, which will be C tensor with M over this ZG, you drop this term. So this term is not here. So this is no longer exact because you have dropped a term here. So you have dropped a term here, so it is no longer exact. So this uh, term corresponding to this is dropped. So notice as this comes right here because of this tensoring. This tensoring comes here, this comes here. Now once you have this, then you can compute again its ith homology groups. And this is the homology of this uh, M, which is a G module. And this is also called TOR. So we are computing homology groups of this chain complex. So again recall that the augmentation ideal, so this is this var epsilon is the augmentation map. So basically you are you have some summation here which is NIGI, you're just summing up the um, integers. So, or you can say you're putting GI equals to 1. So essentially uh, so augmentation ideal is the kernel of the map this and is generated by the set g minus 1 so you think of it as an evaluation map so you're summing up the integers here the coefficients you're putting gi equals to 1 and some of them will get mapped to 0 and that is uh, precisely when you have this uh, so and the g co-invariant of m this we have talked about before it is m subscript g uh, this is the largest quotient of M fixed by G. So this is given as this M modulo IG of M. And, and this, obviously, you can write it like this. And as we said before, this is just the evaluation map. You're just setting G equals to 1. So this becomes integers. Uh, because if you set G equals to 1, then everything gets absorbed like this. So you get this. Now notice that this is precisely the term which we dropped. See, this thing here is this thing here and we said that the exactness is lost because we drop the term here so if you compute the uh, homology group so this should be subscript so the zeroth homology group has to be precisely equal to the term which we have dropped so this is our h0 because this is the term we dropped and this gives us the zeroth homology group. 
so that is it so we got the zero homology group corresponding to precisely the term we dropped while applying this functor so more generally uh, rather than taking a free resolution we say we take a projected resolution but free resolution uh, because all these modules are free and therefore it is also a projected resolution in for computations you take the standard resolution because we know how to deal with this we know all the partial maps because they're just dropping from the standard algebraic topology homology so um, more generally you can uh, see in the books it says projective resolution so in place of standard resolution and then again if you have a projective resolution you do the same story so now you will have projective module here projective module here projective module here you will still have to apply this functor you will still have to apply this functor to it and uh, this functor then again you will have some complex like this then you can compute its homology group they will be the same uh, but again as i said before this is more concrete so if you're given a short exact sequence of g modules like this then you can take projective resolutions of all three of them or you can take standard resolutions by integers and then tensor it instead of m you're tensoring with a tensor with b tensor with c you get three chains so you have chain complexes corresponding to all three of them which will look exactly like this and once you have chain complex maps then you have a long exact sequence so uh, a b c a b c so that is pretty much it so this is the homology of groups